coming up in this road trip special. We look at some rocks. Some typical Americans walk around. And I wear a hat, but backwards. The USA, a place where everything is very big, including the portions, the people, and most importantly, the cars. It's a place you come to if you want to get shot at or protest, but surprisingly, it's a great place for a road trip. We have come to Las Vegas, which is in Nevada. This is the entertainment capital of the world, as it's full of luxury hotels, casinos, and quite often, very nice cars. Hello and welcome to a car culture special. We're doing a, well, a Las Vegas sort of road trip around uh, yeah. Nevada, Arizona. And it, and it really is special because for the first time ever, we've actually taken a plane and traveled somewhere yeah. else. We're somewhere film. not, we're not in the UK, we're yeah. somewhere abroad, which is actually quite cool. And um, we've come to the hottest place on Earth. Yes, this is a, well, it's a salt lake just outside of Las Vegas. Um, it's currently 40, what's well, about 40 degrees now? 40 degrees, um, on the definition of what some may say a sweaty ginger. Yeah. Um, and that's actually quite a nice bit of breeze now. It so is, you but might it's not quite... be able to hear that through the mics. No. Because we've never <laughs> travelled away before. Um, so, Rob, obviously our theme this special yes. is American drivers and American cars. Yeah. What are your thoughts on American drivers uh, and American cars? I think it is genuinely one of the greatest creations on earth. Really? Yep. Because uh, we, we've had a we've had a few little uh, observations recently when we've yep. been on the Las Vegas Strip, and every car is clean. Every car doesn't shout a stupid word at you when you walk down the street. Yep. Um, and everyone's everyone's very careful and considerate when they drive. And also, the cars are huge. I mean, you, yeah. all the SUVs. I mean, if you look at Range Rovers back home, you think, oh, they're pretty big. When they when you put them in this country, yeah. they're like tiny compared well, to it. Exactly. It's you, crazy. We we saw this Dodge Ram earlier, and it genuinely couldn't fit down an English road. No, no. Good because I won't be going back to England after this trip. <laughs> Now let's reveal what car we've got for this uh, part of the road trip. We've got two cars. We've got, well, they're both brand new pretty much, which is a first for us because we don't really normally get yeah. brand new cars on. But um, this is what we're going to be driving today. This is the Ford Bronco Sport. It has seven seats, which means you can fit roughly three Americans in it. And we think it will be the perfect car for the first part of this road trip. So Rob, we have a, well, brand new Ford Bronco Sport. Finishing a really nice this. color actually. It's like a sort of seal gray. The blue color is the same color as my eyes. Yeah, well, not really, but. <laughs> no, and what they call this is duck egg. Yeah, it's duck egg sort of, and yeah, it's like a bluey sort of gray color. And as I, I think touch that bonnet now, uh, I'm frying my hand. So if you wanted a fried egg on the show. Oh wow, that is really um, hot. <laughs> you can fry it on this bonnet. Uh, um, well, one of the I think one of the best things about this car is that it's original 1950s. Yeah, it's got that original 1950s yeah. look to it. I, that's what I like about Americans. They do keep the originality of mm. the styling from the old cars. Exactly. Um, and this has got a two-litre four-cylinder engine, petrol. Yeah. So the MPG is not going to be the greatest on the way it's, to our location today. But it is not the best. But no. it actually is genuinely very comfortable to drive. Why um, that matter though? Because we are going in style. Exactly. So. And one fact we'll point out for you is this has actually been imported from California. Yes. So, I mean, we're genuinely going all full out American on this trip. Yeah. Well, let's get in the car and let's not burn anymore. Let's get in the car and yes. drive off. So, we've got our car, but now we need our destination. Our route for today was from Las Vegas, sort of, to a town called Rachel, near Area 51. Tell your children not to walk my way. And after a while of driving around the Salt Lake because we couldn't find where we came from, we set off on the highway. So Rob, we're on the highway to, uh, where are we going? Uh, we're going to a place, a mysterious place called Area 51. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. Um, 
but specifically because always you can't actually go into Area 51. Uh, we are actually going to no. Um, there's like a little bar, isn't there? Yeah, there's an alien-inspired cafe that we're going to stop off at. Yes, but if you want to, you can you can walk into Area 51 now. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll film you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do film that, you doing then. it. Yeah. Um, there might be a bit few issues of you getting home, but we'll we'll sort that out. Oh, that's brush fine. over. Cool. Um, yeah, but after making a few purchases, we are on the move. We are, and I'll tell you what, this car feels actually really smooth on the motorway. Mm. I know it's an SUV and it should be doing SUV things, but um, well, after nearly killing us by cutting across a, uh, a chicane, I was a bit worried at that point. <laughs> but that's mainly the driver, not the car. Yeah. And interesting thing about the roads in America, Rob. Obviously, we've mentioned. The whole, the whole thing with the special is about America mm. and the cars on the roads. Um, they're, they're, they're so wide. I mean, there's four lanes in this motorway, which is, I suppose yeah. that's normal for England as well, but the actual lanes are really wide. Genuinely, the whole M4 could fit on just one lane yeah. going that way. <laughs> Probably, yeah. And it's also about the quality of the road surface as well, because it's genuinely it, I, I know, smooth. I haven't hit any potholes or anything. No. Shortly after, we came off the highway and went onto a different one, which looked exactly the same. So Rob, we're now off the highway. Mm -hmm. um, we are well, on these like really nice pretty roads. They're basically just straight roads with lots of scenery around. And we, we've just got out, we just got out of the car for a uh, quick drink. Yeah. And it was genuinely, the tyres felt like they were going to burst because it was extremely hot. Yeah, I mean, it says on the thing here, it says 108 degrees, which in English yeah. is about uh, like 40, mm. 40 degrees. It's crazy we, heat. We noticed as well, when, when the car was in the parking lot um, next to the hillbillies, the, at the Dodge that they were driving was about three times bigger than the Bronco. Yeah. <laughs> so even a big car like this is still, you it, know, trumped from those big yeah. trucks. In terms of the car, Rob, it actually does feel really smooth to drive on these roads. Yeah. Um, I mean, it helps that the actual tarmac is really nice. Mm. But, I mean, the interior is really nice. It's got all the modern tech. It's got lots start stop. It's got lots of uh, rose gold yeah. uh, accents as well, weirdly. It's got quite a digital dashboard. It's got the it's got classic dials, to be fair, which is good. Um, I'm in eco mode at the moment, so. Mm. You've got some a contraption down here called yeah, goat mode. The goat mode, so that's like different modes. You can put it in eco, you can put it in normal, you can put it on sand, you can do and you sports. Can, yeah. But it's it's a bit difficult to use at first because it looks like it's a button. But then again, yeah, it's, I know one, what you mean. it's a spin dial. So now we've put it into sport. Yep, sport mode, so that stiffened it up sport. a little bit. And um, it's, no, it's an eco. Uh, eco. <laughs> And then, so then we switch it to Sport Plus, and you can instantly feel. Yeah, you can feel the car. It changes down as well. It's it, sort of like it wants to speed up. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it is it's not very fast, is it? It's, it's not it doesn't the need best. To be, though. No, it needs to be fast. It's not the best kick down of a gearbox that I've ever experienced. And then you can have a setting for slippery, slippery. which I wouldn't do on a uh, sort of on the driest no. road in the world. <laughs> I don't see if you live in this this state you're never going to use that setting but, no um, but I'd say per personally I think the normal is the best because that's normal a bit of a or eco yeah even though we hate the industrialists yes. eco is the way to go on motorways like this because the tank I mean it is it is lasting for fuel considering we do test run it through a lot of speed tests uh -huh. because you are a moron and you like to drive fast whereas I like to So then again, it does take a long time. It to, does. But we're kind of doing the polar opposite, quite literally. We're in eco mode, but we're thrashing the shit out of it. That's, that's really insulting the vegans, which yeah. I like. And another thing that we did miss is a low range gearbox. Yeah. Which we might try out later. Well, we used that on the, uh, well, from the when we, when we uh, went mm. to the uh, Salt Lake. Ah. We used it there, didn't we? And I couldn't tell absolutely any difference. No. <laughs> So Rob, I think you should have a go in this now and see what you think. Right, okay. That's better because at least I know where I'm going. We set where the sat nav doesn't tell us because it's rubbish. <laughs> but yes. So with that said, we pulled over and swapped seats. Mm. 
So Rob, you're now driving? Yes. What do you I'm think of the Ford seat. Bronco Sport? Uh, there's someone, Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, apart from that scary overtake from another car, uh, the Bronco Sport at 79 miles an hour feels incredibly comfortable. No, do you mean 70 miles an hour because we can't go over 70? Oh uh, yeah, 70. Don't tell yeah, yeah. Mr. Biden about that. That's it. Um, well, to your left, you can see, well, Some great mountains. scenery. Um, but we can't actually go over there because it's that is Area 51 on the other side of there. Is but it? I think the Bronco could easily get over those dunes. That's the thing, yeah. I mean, you could put it in the sand mode and it would be up mm. those mountains in no time. But what I also like about this is that Bronco have now made their own sort of brand out of the horse. It's mm. like an upside down Ferrari. It is, um, I mean, it doesn't perform like one, but... No. <laughs> I mean, the seats are comfy, The seats they? are very they're, comfortable. They're like leather. Yeah. Well, they're all leather. There's a sort of weird fabric going on there. And interesting as well, the, the back of the seats have a zip. Oh. So you can zip up stuff, which means you'll lose it. Yeah. So, I mean, I like, what, I like what Ford have done with this. I think it's, I think it's a really well thought out car. Yeah. And I think it's just what the 21st century needed yes. as well. After several hours of driving, we were getting close to our destination. But unfortunately, our cameras ran out of battery, so we were unable to film the final scene. So that's why we're showing these shots instead. So the next day, we had to come up with an excuse. Unfortunately, we have had a bit of a turn for the worse in this environment. Uh, the Bronco caught fire um, in the extreme heat it has unfortunately caught fire and deceased. Oh no. Mm. Anyway, Rob, we've got a new yeah. car today. Um, and yes. it's this, which is a Dodge. Yeah, we decided, I mean, not that even though the Bronco isn't American enough, we thought we'd go- Even more American. Just that bit extra, yeah. yeah. Just that bit extra and, well, put it on the budget for a scat pack. And here it is, Rob. What do we think? Um, what do I think? It's um, a beast, is what it is. What don't I love about this car? <laughs> uh, oh, it's blue. It's got a red interior, like my car. So it's basically a Mazda. Yeah. It's got a well, it's a Scat Pack edition, so we get a V8, uh, um, not supercharged, but it's still produces what 490, well, 480 horsepower. 480 horsepower, and what's good about it is absolutely everything about it. Yes. Now I said it is a blue colour. It's got some huge rings. It's got 20 inch alloys. Um, it's a Hemi engine. And, and well, it's it's all you need really for this sort of style road trip. I mean, I mean it, the MVG is a bit crap, but it, it is all you need. But you would be needing it at a petrol station almost every five miles. But at least we can turn up to the petrol station in yep. style. Yes, exactly. That's the main thing. And well, where are we now? We're at the Hoover Dam, so we're gonna have a look we, around there. We're at the Hoover Dam. We're boiling up. So is the car. Um, but boiling. you see this massive air intake there. And you've got and these two in well, and, yeah, was two in ducts there? here, um, because when it, th these cars are designed for this sort of heat, so it needs to bring as much oxygen as it can in the car. Of course, it is a huge engine speed. as well. So. Yes. <laughs> uh, should we take a look at the engine? Let's take a look at the engine. Right. How do we do the bonnet? Um, <laughs> is it this? Well, that would be very painful. Um, <laughs> let I me. Think I found it. Is it that? Oh, I found it. No, that's not. There we are. Here we are. We haven't actually looked at the engine yet, have we? So please approach with caution as uh, you may be very turned on. This, are we allowed to show this on, the, on YouTube? Yeah. 18 plus content though, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's hot. 18 plus content. Oh! That's really hot. That's... Oh, that's, that's really hot. hot. <laughs> that is really hot. Ow! You know what? We're just going to say the engine is very good. Okay, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brave it and not... Yeah! Wow, there we go. Powered by SRT, obviously that's a launch. Uh, I've brand. just been in a sauna. <laughs> yeah. I've genuinely just been in a sauna. Um, so there it is. Um, that is absolutely massive. It is, it's a big engine. That, I mean, that engine probably won't fit in my car, I'll be honest. That is massive. So, because we couldn't be bothered to film from Las Vegas to Hoover Dam, we're starting in Hoover Dam. But before we left, 
we wanted to have a look at the local sites. Um, 5,368 miles for... Well, some rocks with some water in the middle. An Oreo-coloured rock. <laughs> and then a big building that's in the middle of the water. And then the water's not down there. Um, right, let's go down the road. After that very interesting history lesson on the Hoover Dam, we started the final day of our road trip. For today's trip we'd start in the Hoover Dam, even though we didn't, and head up to the very famous Grand Canyon Village. It's a Rob, we're on the way. Yes, we're on to, the way. Uh, where are we going today? Uh, we are going to... Guess where? I don't know. I'll have uh, to do. <laughs> guess. Uh, well, we're on the famous route of Route 66. And that goes to, well, it goes past Grand Canyon. And I think we'll be stopping there, right? Yeah, we are. Yes, there, we're yeah. going to stop there. In fact, we are going to be staying there um, in the lovely Grand Canyon. Um, but as such, we are in a great car to do the journey. I agree. I mean, it's very smooth on the uh, motorway while well, as we enter all. The Route 66 motorway, well, highway, mm -hmm. I should say. Freeway. For American viewers. Yeah. Um, it's got eight gears, so it's, you know, it's, it's very quiet um, on the motorway. It's very insulated. It's quite, you know, mm. it's, steering's it's, light. It's nice. It's got a lane assist. It's also got, um, you know, cruise control. It's, that it's, sort of thing. Yeah. It's a very comfortable place to be. You know, the, I was saying earlier to Bailey about these seats, you know, you can literally position them anywhere, anytime you want. Yeah. And of course, they're, they're bucket shaped, but actually they're yeah. very comfortable. Yeah, surprise they are. So it's, it's almost a good cruiser, but I'll tell you one thing that's not very good about this car is obviously the MPG. Yeah. I mean, we've averaged like 15 or something. 15 MPG. Like that. so. And that's on the highway as well. After not very much driving at all, we pulled in to get some fuel. And straight away, Rob started annoying the locals. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Keep walking. Go on, off you go. So I decided to go and get some food, but there was a small problem. Why do I want to buy a knife? There's a petrol station, I want fuel and food. It's all brands I don't know. I don't really know what I want to buy. And when he got bored, Rob decided to come into the petrol station as well. See, this is something called a biscuit, and uh, Bailey would really like it because it has unbleached wheat flour and, look, imitation American cheese. And after all that shenanigans, we got back on the road. Now, some good features on the car, Rob. Do you want to go through them, actually? Uh, the driver's not meant to yes, in America. Well, um, actually, yeah, because it has, first of all, to start with that, it has a safety feature where yeah. you can't actually, well, you can't actually use the infotainment street. Which infotainment is quite screen. annoying, actually. I thought it was yeah. quite annoying earlier when we were trying to connect our phones to, you know, Bluetooth or, yeah. you know, start something else. Like, there's actually Wi-Fi in here. You, you can't do it because it says you're on the move. And I was, I know I am. Yeah, I but the, still do it, though. Yeah, but the designers at Dodge obviously think you don't have any friends. Because That's your true. friend can't even adjust the fucking... Oh no, because people who drive Dodgers look exactly like me. They wear stupid sunglasses and a backwards hat. Yeah. And well, they do this. That's as party for his that. car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, yeah, on that subject, you know, the one thing that I don't like about this is it doesn't have a nav. Yeah, that's really strange actually, because it's got all the SRT modes, it's got heated seats, it's got all that sort of stuff, or assisting stuff. Wi-Fi like. hotspot. Yeah, but you it can doesn't actually, have a sat nav. Yeah. That makes no sense. You can Unless actually have it. an assist from someone at Dodge. So we, <laughs> so <laughs> we text them. So we can text them and, and see if they're gonna, you know, promote us any new cars. It yeah. has a heated steering wheel, which you would not want, because no. it's about 50 degrees outside. 
Um, but it does have a lot of features like the the controls. It's got a uh, mirror dimmer. I've never heard of that in a car never, before. I've no idea what that is. Um, but mostly we want to know about the performance. <laughs> yeah, um, so it does measure like how much power I'm putting out, the current gear I'm in, the, the steering angle, the yeah. torque. G-Force, um, which is, well, one of our favourites. Yeah, <laughs> it is a favourite. Um, but it is a very well well equipped car. Yeah, I mean, like, the entertainment system is brilliant on this. Like, it's got, you know, everything you want to know as an enthusiast and, of a Dodge. And, and it even has a leaderboard look. <laughs> it's got, it has, a, le it's yeah, got yeah. a leaderboard. A of, drag race leaderboard. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant. And then, so we have a mode like this. So I am the passenger now. Yeah. And I can go into drive mode on your side and yeah. I can click track and it instantly the car like wakes up it stiffens yeah. and everything it's wicked and that means I can go fast yeah so the gearbox basically quickens up and the, um, the steering stiffens and the suspension stiffens as well in track mode as you'd expect really but and this is where the Arizonian constabulary will uh, <laughs> come over to us yeah <laughs> People say that American cars are not very well built, but look, viewers, we don't agree with that. I, I don't. I mean, maybe some early two thousands yes. cars were a bit shabby, but I, well, this the, is actually, you know, it's got a lot of modern tech as we mentioned already, and yeah. it's obviously got. It's you know, well equipped. The, the leather in here is fantastic. Like it's, the seats are brilliant. It's very well built. That the centre console doesn't wiggle. There's no, no scratchy plastics anywhere. No, it's true. And. Um, you know, you look at a car like, like right now, I'm looking at a Buick LeSabre. It was rubbish when it was new. <laughs> it's rubbish now. It was built by idiots. Yeah. So Rob, the, the roads we drive on are mm. just basically straight roads, aren't they? But yes. to make it interesting, they have, well, America have decided to put some mountains in the way. Mm. And that's great, because you can see some, you know, well, we are coming up to the Grand Car in the, in the sort of area. We are in Arizona at the moment. Um, but like they've made, they've made the, the views actually quite interesting. Even though we're just yeah. going down a straight, boring road, which is just full of lorries overtaking me. It's, it's almost like a green screen out there. And um, sometimes we go past, you know, abandoned churches, classic cars that we may or may not make an offer. Um, but it's almost like every state is different yeah. when you travel through it. That's what I like about America. Mm. Would you, do you want to unleash the V8 in this? Uh, I would like to unleash the okay, V8. So it's a done deal and I will be making some phone calls home yes. just to understand where my medical insurance is. <laughs> so with that said, we pulled over once again and swapped seats. Then something really unusual happened. Um, so situation update, Rob's now driving. And uh, it's not, raining quite a bit, which is really weird because it's like... Yeah, I, I knew this. You planned this, didn't you? I did, actually. Extra slick tyres. I'm on track mode. You planned this. Yeah. You left it in track mode. No, no, I didn't. When we changed over. Why would you do that? But to be fair, it's really weird when it's raining. It's still like... Okay, it's quite cold now, actually. It's 65 degrees. Oh, yeah, that's really cold. It is. <laughs> Well, to be, to be honest, we were actually just passing through um, the Route 66 town. Yeah, well, it was one of them, which we believe it might have been the uh, one that was based off, well, the one that cars that based cars off. cars bases off, yeah. yeah, I think it is, um, which was actually quite a detour. Oh, yeah, I just saw lightning then. Uh, yeah, I it's think I, just, I think I just saw lightning over there. This is quite scary now. But one aspect I've realised, Bailey, to do with the car, yes, it doesn't have a rear windscreen washer. Does it not? No. Or wiper? No. Wow. That's not very good in a saloon car, is it? No. <laughs> so what happens when you turn on the... Oh, there's a rabbit! Jesus. <laughs> and I'm going to need to turn on the front humidifier now. Yeah. Okay, this has all gone completely out of control. Now, viewers, if you don't know, it's just literally Rob and I filming this road trip. So, you know, some of the shots we might miss or we might not get enough B-roll or whatever. And I've just had to get out and do some drive-by shots of yeah. Rob. And literally, as I was doing it, it started raining. I'm literally soaked. Look at this. You are, you are as wet as... I'm not allowed to say this before the watershed. Yes. <laughs> um, but we are en route still. We've still got about an hour and a half to go. Yep. I didn't realise um, I'd have to actually put the heat on. In I know, the, we turn off Arizona. the AC. 
we turned off the AC and now we're putting the heater on, which is incredible considering we came from 40 degree yeah. heat earlier. <laughs> but you know what? For This is the first time you'll hear me say this, first and the last. I actually quite like this rain. Yes, it's rain that I, I like do it. like as well. It's, it, it's sort yeah. of, it feels different on your skin, if that yeah. makes sense. We are literally in the middle of nowhere now and I'm quite scared. It is, it is stopping raining actually. We are sort of, it's, it's really overcast now actually. I mean, over there is really nice, but like over there in front of us is quite, yeah, quite scary looking, menacing. And what are you thinking of the V8, Rob? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've got a bit of a stain on the trousers now. But actually, I was going to mention this, because yeah. this is a really good time to mention it. Is the visibility. Is the visibility. Yeah, I had the same problem, mate. Is not great. It's not, yeah, I mean, the mirrors are pretty small, and then it's just, the, the windows are quite, like, they're, they're not very tall the, either. No. So you can't really see much out of it. The mirrors are the size of a postage stamp, and the the window, yeah, the, the windows genuinely are just are really thin. Like, well, I'm looking out this rear visibility mirror now, and it's rubbish, isn't it? Up to, oh, Jesus. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. NASCAR sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shortly after, the rain stopped and we came off the highway, motorway, whatever the colonials call it. Anyway, we are now on the road to the Grand Canyon. And eventually, without the car blowing up, we checked in to the motel. If you think of coming into America, this is what it's like. You got your comfort in, you got your best western, you got your red lobster where you eat. Everybody's very fat, but everyone's actually really nice. Nice in England at least. And after a quick McDonald's and a change of t-shirt, we headed to our final location. We've actually made it. Yeah, and what we've made it to, to the end. Or well, the um, end of the world, it looks like. It's a massive yeah. crack in it. <laughs> this um, is the Grand Canyon, of course. This is the Grand Canyon, and that was the Dodge Charger. Yes. Um, SRT what? Hellcat 392. <laughs> <laughs> Which was an extraordinary car, I think. Yes. Um, um, V8 power got here well. Yeah. Uh, not um, very good MPG, but it doesn't matter because we had fun. Yes, exactly. And if you are looking to buy one, um, make sure you always carry a tank of petrol around with you. Yes. Um, Preferably bring a whole entire petrol station with you, or a, yeah. or a backup lorry that has fuel. That is one of the, the optional backup. extras, yeah. yeah exactly. um, but in all fairness, to rate to rate the Dodge itself, um, equipment-wise, is I'm going to say about a five out of ten. How come? Um, the, there's no nav. <coughs> yeah, I mean that does, that's a big that is a big thing because I mean if you want to do a road trip in it, you do need a nav, really, don't you? Yeah. So in that aspect, okay, it slips. But in other aspects, you think. It's a great car. It is. It's and a great car. And we have now been, um, well, on Auto Trader in the UK, and we have probably going to buy one. Yeah, well, exactly. And we, what we have proved actually is, well, American cars are a good buy, yeah. like especially modern ones because they are more refined. Mm. They are, yeah. They they are built well, and they're just an all round well, great car to to buy in this yeah. in this market. And that is consumer advice for it you. Is. And on that special note, we uh, do hope you enjoyed this mini road trip special in America. Our first abroad road trip, which is quite cool. Um, yeah. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you subscribe. It was self-funded as well. Which it is was self-funded. Yeah, it was self-funded. Still don't have a budget, and if you do want to give us a budget uh, or let us know if you want to do some more, or want us to do more specials, then do send in some money to us at whatever the address is below. Um, well, we've moved to an American office now because yes. we're not coming back to the no, UK. No, we're not. That. <laughs> so on that note, you, need, we'll, you will need to bleep that out. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, we'll uh, see you next time. And uh, take yeah, care. Take care. Enjoy the view. Enjoy some of these Grand Canyon views.